So you're drawing and drawing, using the brush as a sketchable, and you think to yourself, hey Dan, that's myself talking to myself, uh, could I make my own brushes in Sketchable? Today, let's take a look at the advanced brush menu in Sketchable app. Let's go. This is Digital Drawing in Sketchable with DTM. That's me. I am a 2D Illustrator, and I'm here to walk you through the advanced brush menu in Sketchable app. Let's get started by opening Sketchable app, available for all Windows 10 devices from the Microsoft Store. As you can see, here is my drawing. It's plain, it's just the outline, only line work, and it's time for some color. I go ahead and get my, the brush that I want to use, or the tool, and remember there is some settings that we can adjust right here on the right hand side there's an icon and boom look at all these different settings that we can move and make adjustments on and what I like to do when I start doing that is to go ahead and make a copy of the brush that I want to start to edit so right now this is number two pencil DTM there is the number two pencil so number two pencil DTM is something that I've adjusted already. And, then, and this is option available for any brush here or tool that you have on Sketchable. So let's see, this is, uh, let me hit the plus icon, boom, to duplicate. And there it is, round brush. And now I can start going into the advanced brush menu, which is uh, the icon right here. It opens up the menu on the right and I can change a whole lot of things, including feathering, look at that. But I like this super sharp, oh, come back. Come back, there we go, boom. There it is, I like this super sharp. The roundness, oh, look at that, what? What, what does that do? Oh, oh man, okay, okay. Yep, 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 so it starts to, uh, um, make it flatter and of course you can start up with the top let me go ahead and throw a little bit of there and even changing the shape of your brush so there it is that is um, the fan then we have what the drip hmm. Boom, oh man, that's kind of sharp a little bit. So I can make more adjustments to this one by going to my, okay, so diameter is good. Angle's okay, I don't need angle. But I can change the spacing. And then even here, there's more. Look at that, oh, ho, ho. <laughs> wow. And then I can make that smaller and look. Crazy. So yes, you can make your own brushes in uh, Sketchable. Stroke opacity, bleed. Huh. Oh, and then that's where that's where those little circles start coming on. Where it very nope. All right. And then, uh, hmm, what are these? So there goes that. Let's change the color and see what happens. Okay, got it, got it. A little bit of brightness, some saturation. And... Oh, look at that. <laughs> it starts to blend in. This is awesome. So depending on what it is that you're drawing, what part of the coloring process you're in, uh, some of these things start to react, which is also another option up here. But you selecting the blend mode that you want to your brush to have so now look at that mm -hmm. yes yes the colors start to blend in um, yeah so this is the round brush DTM. and you want to rename your brush so that when you're looking through your list of brushes you will start to remember which ones are which so we can also export our presets and import our presets if we if we um export our presets we can do that preset right there boom there it goes there's my uh brush and yeah i'll save it on the desktop hit okay and so if i um move that file to a different computer and then i open sketchable I can then bring that in and say, yeah, I want that same brush 
that I started with when, uh, when on, a, on a different drawing and I want it here. And there it goes. You can also make a new copy by clicking on that plus icon and creating a whole new brush. Let's go ahead and get a new layer. Come on, layers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. So now when I want to do like a little bit of shadow. And let's say go like this. I'm just playing around. There we go. Boom. Get the brush. What was I on? I was in the pencil. I was in the print brush. There we go. Good, good, good. Make it big. Make it a little bit of uh, low opacity and a bit of flow. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Let's make it bigger. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You select. Bam. Now you're starting to add texture to your drawing. There we go. Bam. This is awesome. So check out your brush settings, your advanced brush menu, and find the brushes that fits your art style or create your own based on all these different shapes and settings. So here's mine. I do like this one. This is my go-to. And uh, let's go ahead and try it on this edge. So let's go there and then let's go like this. Okay. Bang. Mm -hmm. So there it is, the advanced brush menu. I hope you like it, I hope you test it, I hope you get creative with it and find the brushes that best fit your artwork or create your own. Let me know how it works for you, all right? This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM and I hope that today's tips are helpful in expanding your digital drawing creativity. Please like, share and subscribe for more Sketchable Insights. Until next time.